Hey everybody, GWJ here. Welcome to the channel. Hope everybody's having a great day so far. Um, today we're checking out Stephen Lynch again. This is Hello Kalamazoo Parts 5 and 6. Now I scanned a little bit ahead just like this here and was able to see that they stopped in the middle of a song on this one. That's why I added 6 to this mix. Hopefully 6 stops in, the, in between songs. But anyway, before we get started, as always, we're going to hit the like and subscribe on the original video. That is the important part, as to make sure we show support wherever we go. Um, all of the links will be in the description, as always. Uh, that being said, let's jump on into this. Pick up where we left off. It's true. It's a true story. I forget what the story was. But, but really, I'm just stalling, because Hobo Chuck's supposed to be out here. <laughs> To play his mandolin solo. How about Chuck? Where the fuck is he? Was he frying up a squirrel or something? <laughs> <laughs> or a Bunsen burner? <laughs> it's good eats. He's really not coming? Oh, God. All right, well, we'll CGI him into this song. Anyways. No mandolin solo. Well, fuck it, I'll do the mandolin. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like I'm drowning. I'm drowning with embarrassment because Hobo Chuck's not out here right now. All right, fuck it. No Hobo Chuck. Here we go. We'll just do it without him. We'll cut to this part in the thing. So. Um, now I don't know what to say because he's supposed to be out here. <laughs> All right, this next song is a duet, <coughs> and um, mm -hmm. it's about the first night that you and I, uh, <laughs> first time I ever gave you the old, uh, <laughs> the old nudge, nudge, wink, wink, the old, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross, I apologize. It just sounds like I'm giving you a venereal disease. <laughs> Scott Stapp infection. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to write that one down. That was good. Oh, my God. Remember that for the next show. Scott Stapp infection. <laughs> All right. It's called The Night I Laid You Down. I think we've done this one. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Just imagine a beautiful mandolin right here. And don't imagine a hobo with a fucking squirrel tail sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> All right. We were young, maybe 20. You wore a white dressing gown. Drinking wine and dancing slowly on the night I laid you down in the moonlight revealed your body. Say it again, he's got a good voice. As the radio played some old Phil Collins song, <laughs> and we believed in something holy. On the night I laid you down We had love in our eyes We had passion in our soul there was fire in our kisses, but it was not a Phil Collins song. <laughs> it might have been like Mike and the mechanics. Don't know who that is. Yes, you do. He was the other guy in Genesis. Mm, I'm pretty sure. That it was Phil Collins No, it wasn't <laughs> On the night I laid you down <laughs> I 
<laughs> anyway, anyway, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. We made love, we made love until the, the dawn. Two hearts beat, two hearts beating. It's all we heard. Oh boy, here we go. Besides that old, it was fucking no <laughs> Phil Collins song. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> it, 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 this is this is hilarious uh, it, it's the chemistry between these two is is almost perfect you know it, it, it's two hearts beating it's all we heard oh boy here we go Besides that old it was fucking no Phil, Phil Collins song <laughs> Well, I'm positive it was that song from the movie with the jam box. Say anything. That's the one. Who the hell mixes up Peter Gabriel with Phil Collins? <laughs> well, fuck you. I guess I'm no expert. No, you're Fucking not. 90s music. 80s. Whatever. All the night. I laid you down. Uh, 80s music. On the night. I laid you down. This is a good one. <laughs> I remember that shit. Because I remember when the drums came in. I remember what I was doing when the drums came in. Hey, there's Hobo Chuck. <laughs> Oh, a lower back tattoo. <laughs> That's a good callback. <laughs> That's messed up. Oh, that's so messed up. <laughs> oh, hey. Hey, welcome back to the show, fuckface. <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> Just the whole last song where you're supposed to play the. Are you eating right now? I knew it. I have something in my beard. <laughs> yeah, some fucking squirrel juice. Listen, why do you gotta disparage the squirrel so much? Makes a fine jerky. <laughs> I call it squirky. <laughs> Last time I bring a hobo on stage. Right? <laughs> what, what are you really eating? Just a little pastrami on rye. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold the phone. You know that I am a diehard vegan, right? Yeah. And you know that I have one rule about the food backstage. No... Meat. <laughs> Seamless introduction. <laughs> there you go. Horsefly to cow, but I 
blow a goat for some bacon right now. Yeah, blow a goat for some bacon. Right. I was wondering where he was going to go with this one. Uh, looking at it, I think this is a song to cut off. So we'll let this one finish and then we'll jump straight into the next part. Yeah, blow a goat for some bacon. Right now. <laughs> you eat your southern fried chicken and well I'll just have fruit how's that t-bone no really it's cool I'll just suck on this turnip root <laughs> with a couple chickpeas <laughs> oh, is this it? Part six, yes. Okay. Hummus and bunger wheat. Tofurky, to fuck yourself. I want some meat. I respect every creature, the birds and the bees. But I'd eat the shit out some whopper with cheese. Believe me, I'd fuck up that whopper. <laughs> he goes, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta rethink calling you a hobo at the beginning of the show. <laughs> Long red asshole hair image is gone. <laughs> I hope you'll hey, call back to that one again. The long red hair. <laughs> red asshole hair image is gone. <laughs> I hope you like. Uh... I'm just picturing you backstage naked. Come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner's on. I hope you like uh, calamari and gold bond powder. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh no. That is that is vile. That's disturbing. Uh, th coming, yeah, that's vile. <laughs> Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have just done the original ending of the song, which is, uh... Oh, prime rib and filet mignon Baby back ribs that fall off the bone For just one bite of brisket brought from down south I'd let Magic Johnson bleed in my mouth <laughs>
Can you see <laughs> Chuck, I don't think they get what I'm trying to say. No, I think they got it. Anyway, you misunderstand me. All I meant is that he uh, has AIDS. And if I drank his blood, I too would get AIDS. That's all. And really, is there a brisket in the world that's worth that? Yeah, there fucking is. That's why I wrote that shit. Jesus. Well, if you've heard the new... Um... Uh -oh. I shouldn't say new, but if you've heard the last, the last record, you've noticed I did something on it that I hadn't done in any of my other records, which was a lot of male-female duets, because I love the sound of a man and woman singing together. Like, I love... Graham and Emmy Lou and uh, Johnny and June Carter and Marvin and Tammy and uh, Dolly and Porter. I just, I love the, the sound of those two voices coming together. Matter of fact, one of my favorite songs of all time, I'm sure you know it, is um, Love hurts, love scars, okay. love wounds, and Mars. I just, it melts my heart every time I hear it. And... And I'm not talking about that fucking Nazareth version either. Love is, love scars, love wounds, in heart. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, I should do a, a Nazareth cover band. <laughs> Hello, Callum, is you. <laughs> we are, what would we call ourselves? We are Nazareth. <laughs> I don't know, that's a little German. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> Not Nazi Rith. Is there one German fan who follows us around the country like the Grateful Dead? Play your songs again! <laughs> Love hurts! <laughs> now you're missing this, uh, a son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, you're right. Maybe that's too. <laughs> I don't know. You know what it should be? It should be called Nazarish. <laughs> <laughs> Much better. Fair enough. All right. Anyway, the point is, is I, I wrote a bunch of duets for the record. And um, uh, Chuck, you can go finish your squirrel now. Courtney and I are going to do um, a song that's so new, it's not even on the record. And it's not even a song. Not yet. No. It's like a third done. But we wanted to try it out for you. So let's, let's give it a shot. Okay. Nope. Tricky. Wow. Okay. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Some folks lead a single life so lonely Thank God I've got you when you've got me uh. But if we had a pass for one night only Who'd be on your list? Who'd be on your list? I'll give you three <laughs> I'll take Jude Law Jake Gyllenhaal and Denzel. I'll take Tina Fey, oh, and Beyonce and Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> If the rumors are true, that might not be far off. Uh, <laughs> with him and with Denzel and Diddy, uh, if the rumors are true, what I've been hearing, he had something to do uh, with those little freak off parties as well. Uh, but anyway, uh, I, I digress. <laughs> <laughs> Why you looking at me funny? What the hell? 
<laughs> I know why you're looking at me funny It's cause I said Denzel No, it's cause you didn't say Phil Collins Fuck you and Phil Collins <laughs> <laughs> I'm bring up some old shit <laughs> Phil Collins Enough with Phil Collins <laughs> Go home had to your bring boyfriend. That back. Yeah. <laughs> had to bring that back. Love you, Scott. Love you too, Courtney. <laughs> so I imagine it sounds like at their house. Morning. Morning. Sleep well? Yeah. You hungry? Yeah. What do you want? Fucking pancakes. Maybe some bacon on the side. Yeah. <laughs> What do you want in your pancakes? Cereal. Here's a trip. Uh, Rod, don't sit. Actually, go stand next to Charlie. I want to I wanna try something. A little unexpected. All right. At least they didn't cut it off in the middle of a song that time. Uh, and they didn't cut it off in the middle of a joke this time. Like they did at the end of part two. I believe it was. Uh, anyway, this was, uh, oh my gosh. My sides are hurting. This is absolutely hilarious. I love this guy. He is, he is something special. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on this one in the comments. Let me know what else I need to check out, and I'll get there as soon as I can. We'll be back with part seven tomorrow. Um... If you're still here and you haven't done so yet, I'd like to ask you to hit the like and the subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps the channel grow. It shows up my analytics. lets me know you want more content like this. That being said, that is just about going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me, and I hope to see you on the next one. I love you guys. Peace. Hey guys, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here, Jerry J.